welcome to Bedtime Terror, the show where I watch a scary movie before bed and let you know how I think I'm going to sleep. My name is Bobby, and tonight my review is going to be on 2002's Dog Soldiers. There's a few spoilers, so you've been warned. So, Dog Soldiers is about a squad of British soldiers that are in the Scottish Highlands for the weekend doing like a tactical practice. And long story short, soldiers versus werewolves. And I loved this movie. It was so much fun to watch. It was a great combination of horror and humor. It wasn't campy, it wasn't cheesy, it was pretty witty. It is a bit of a longer movie, it's like an hour and 45 minutes, but from start to finish, you're engaged. The dialogue between the cast members was great, you really felt like they were a close-knit group of guys. You felt that they had really good banter between all of them. The action was fantastic. It really did seem realistic to, you know, see these soldiers make plans and try to, uh, you know, counteract this pack of werewolves are trying to infiltrate. It was really cool seeing that, you know, and realistic. They didn't make any dumb, um, any dumb moves. They were doing what you would think trained soldiers would do. I really, really liked the practical effects that were used in this movie. From our werewolves, they were a great combination of like lycanthrope and humanoid features. They looked really gnarly, really nasty, um, as well as the gore in this movie. It looked really realistic. There was definitely a few times where I was shocked <laughs> and horrified by, um, you know, some of the the kills that we saw on screen because I wasn't expecting um, it to be quite so bloody and brutal. Um, but they didn't hold back, so that was really cool. One thing I didn't like, though, was we didn't get to see a transformation of human to werewolf. They kind of copped out and did this like hidden underneath the table and then, you know, popping back up with some fangs and contacts and, and fake nails. It was pretty disappointing, especially when we got to see how cool these werewolves really looked. Um, so it just seemed a bit odd that they didn't do that. There also seemed to be a few potholes here and there. Um, nothing too much to keep you from enjoying the movie, but just a few things that just kind of made you pause or wonder like, well, why didn't they follow up with this? How did that happen? How did they know each other? Um, I think it's possibly because the movie was already, you know, an hour and 45 minutes. They probably had to cut a few scenes for time, but it didn't take away from how much this movie is really enjoyable and likable. It's uh, the kind of movie that I would suggest for anyone that is into creature features. If you're a newbie to horror films, this will definitely be entertaining. It definitely, you know, uh, keep keep you on the edge of your seat, get your blood pumping. Um, as well as seasoned fans, this would be uh, really good to watch because there's still a lot of good blood and gore and suspense in it. So overall, I'm going to give this movie on a scale of 1 to 5, 4.5. It's really good, really enjoyable. I want to watch it again already. Definitely recommend that you watch it. Which reminds me, I am starting a playlist for movies that you can watch here um, that you may be able to, you know, enjoy. So if you saw my review, thought, huh, that sounds really interesting, I want to check it out, hit up the playlist 
and give it a look. I want you guys to enjoy these movies as much as I am. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with your friends if you know anyone that likes horror. Until next time, good night. Don't let the boogeyman bite. Bye, guys.